So I'm going to invite Trevor as our special guest to start off and and just just tell us what you thought of that that performance in particular, Trevor. Yeah, I thought it was a really strong performance in the end. Um, I thought we started the game particularly well, controlled um, the tempo, controlled the ball a lot of the time. I think it was up to just above sixty odd percent uh, possession because I good habits, uh, you know, keep on checking that just to see to back up my initial thoughts when I'm watching the game. And it was just over sixty percent, and I just we had a couple of situations, and and didn't take full advantage. Either the pass didn't go, and we we kind of recycled the ball again, or we didn't make the final pass with the quality that it needed. And then Liverpool started to get a decent um, pull on the game and started to create one or two chances. I thought the Mane chance was very good, and I thought we went in our, into our shell a little bit. Thought we'd probably get a bit of a dressing down at half time. Bit more bravery on the ball, getting into positions to receive the ball, a uh, bit more committed in the final third. You know, as we've seen Raheem a couple of times, most wingers go into them situations. You keep on trying, you, you fail, you fail, but when it does come off, that's when you create goal scoring opportunities, win penalties, and so on and so forth. And I just thought we needed to be a little bit braver. I thought they'd get a bit of a dressing down at half time. I think that's what went on. Um, second half, I think the tweak that Pep made and, and turned us into a 4 4 2. I think it helped massively because we were struggling with the width laterally across across the pit to control possession and the shape. And um, again, Pep just showing his quality. How we made that formation change. Obviously, a couple of mistakes were in there from Allison, but I, again, I think that goes down to having more players further forward up the pitch, being able to press more effectively uh, and force them errors from Allison. And yeah, you know, all in all, it was a really strong performance and thoroughly deserved the win. And you know, like everyone else, you know, very impressed with uh, Phil Foden. We know we can do it as City fans. There's still a few um, people that are not sure. If they're not sure, I'm sure they'll be sure after that performance. And goal, you know, big moments in big games. Again, he's got a goal threat. Uh, Gundogan, disappointed with the penalty. Uh, but again, another really strong performance, couple of goals. And Raheem scoring his 100th goal under Pep. You know, he joins quite a steam company um, with the boy Messi. And Aguero, and you know, again, being honest, I think Raheem's probably been underperforming recently. Whether that's tiredness or um, just the way we're playing, it's not suiting him. But I thought he's, he struggled a little bit. But talking about big games and, and coming out with his personality tonight, I thought he was outstanding. And you know, getting his goal at the end, I thought he fully deserved that. And just a little shout out to Zinchenko. You know, he's he's been in, he's been out, he's been off. You know, put away, and he kept on believing. We've seen glimpses of his performances improving. Um, of recent times and for him to play such a key part in, in, in a brilliant performance and you know a w- first win away from home at Anfield since 2003 um, I think he deserves a, a few plaudits as well On the game itself after the match uh, Pep Guardiola suggested that um, he hadn't got the best perhaps I'm trying to be diplomatic in the way he phrased this he didn't get the best out of Phil Ford and in the first half but when he pushed him into a slightly different position which is what you've alluded to uh, that he was much better um, do you think Pep was right to say that? I mean he is a perfectionist isn't he? Absolutely you know he's a young player he's still got a lot to learn and I've said it many times I don't know much about goalkeeping but Edison obviously I, I really agree with the way he plays the game but centre forward, especially a nine in, in a four-three-three, it's probably the most difficult position to learn as a, a professional footballer. You, you need to know when to stretch him. You need to know when to come to feet. When you need to keep secure it and win fouls, or maybe try a little bit of summit and, and with your first touch and manipulate the ball. It takes a long time to learn them skill sets in different scenarios. So you could be two 0 up, and yeah, you can go and enjoy yourself. You might be nil nil in a really close game. There, you've got to win the fouls. You've got to protect the ball. Um, and Phil does protect the ball in general, but he wasn't getting into positions both in possession and I feel especially out of possession when we were trying to suppress. And I think that's what Pep was alluding to. And I think he's right to do that. Listen, he, he's the master. Um, he's an oracle of information and knowledge of football. And uh, Phil's developing really well under his guidance. So, yeah, he's right to say that. It was a great performance, but it wasn't perfect. There's still lots to learn. And like he said in a couple of his comments after the game, you know, once this game's finished, we'll celebrate. Of course we will. But we're back on the training pitch tomorrow. We're going to get ourselves our boots on the on the grass, and we're looking at the next game. So, I think that's an elite mentality. That's a winner's mentality, and you know, it's no it's no surprise to I think City fans, but and most fans in the world because of the amount of trophies that he's won over his career. <laughs> 